Yo, what's up, guys? Today we are reacting to America's Got Talent. This is Ehren Belize. Oh, this is hard to pronounce. Ehren. Is it Isle? Belial? I don't know. I'm going to wait for him to say his name so I can say it correctly. So, laugh out loud audition. Let's go. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hi. Hello. What's your name and your age? My name is Aaron Belial, and I'm 28 years old. Aaron Belial. Okay, Aaron Belial. Okay. And what is your talent? Well, I can't dance. <laughs> so I'm going to do stand-up comedy. Okay. Oh, wonderful. How long have you been doing this? I did my first open mic about a year ago. What got you into comedy? Last winter, I ended up in Portugal. I ended up going to a comedy show there and making all the comics laugh, and they convinced me to try it. Wow. So comedy generally is about timing. How, uh, what is your process? Please hold while the operator types his response. <laughs> <laughs> To do my comedy, I use a text-to-speech app. Interestingly enough, the silence while I type just builds tension during a set, and I think people enjoy watching me laugh at my own joke that I'm writing. <laughs> <laughs> you should also know that if you heckle me, my service dog is trained to go for the vocal cords. <laughs> okay, so let me get this straight. Um, is he unable to talk? <laughs> oh, that dog is so cute. Look at that. Oh, cute dog. So, why does it look different, though? Over here, it looks like it's looking forward, and over here, it looks like it's looking sideways. Anyway, so, um, he's unable to talk. He has a disability. He's using a text-to-speech app, and he's a um, stand-up comedian. Okay, great. Um, can I ask, do you have a day job? <laughs> He's got such a I'm nice an engineer. sense of humor. <laughs> so, young man, the stage is yours. Best of luck. Most of you look super confused right now, so let's talk about the elephant in the room. I know what you're all thinking. Who ordered Stephen Hawking off of Wish.com? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so... This is the type of thing that... Is it okay to laugh because he's making fun of himself? You know that type of feeling? Like... Uh, like, if, if it was anyone else, you'd be like, should I laugh at this? Should I be laughing at this? You know? And then, oh man, I don't know, it's a confusing feeling right now. He might be smarter than me, but I would beat him in a race. <laughs> Unless the race is downhill, then I'm screwed. <laughs> okay. Okay, so he's actually making fun of Stephen Hawking. Bro, oh man, oh. We also have different conditions. He had amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, and I am Canadian. <laughs> oh my goodness. Specifically, I'm half French. On my left side, Everybody's trying to hold their laughs and and you can see like he it's an awkward situation. It's an awkward laugh And they're looking at each other like should we laugh or should we oh man, it's so confusing How did you guys feel at home watching this like um, or how do you feel right now watching this? Oh, this is oh goodness I I'm, 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 I'm thinking twice like should I be reacting to this? 
I also have a brain muscle disability called cerebral palsy, but being French is way worse than a brain disability. Oh my goodness. I used to have the word handicapped in my social media bio, and then some random white lady messaged me telling me I need to change it to disabled. Oh! You can't say that word anymore. It is offensive to disabled people. <laughs> hmm, I don't think it's offensive. Last time I checked, I was pretty disabled. <laughs> well. You don't get to decide what is offensive or not to disabled people. <laughs> Why not, Karen? Who the hell does then? Some two-legged white woman on Facebook who is probably commenting on her phone from a handicapped bathroom stall. Shots were fired. Wow. Wow. Thank you for listening. Bro, okay, wow. I mean, this isn't really stand-up comedy. This is a, a slap in the face of, you know, society. <laughs> That's a slap in the face. I think this is the very first time I have seen um, this type of comeback, you know. Bro. And that comes to show that, you know, um, disabled people can talk for themselves. Um you know, they can, like, protect themselves, defend themselves. Um, there are so many people out there that are, you know, these... They want to be heroes and talk for other people and saying, oh, like, I'm a foreigner and I live in the UK. And, you know, some people kind of, like... If, if, I, if I become, like, a victim of, I don't know, um, racism or... I don't know if racism is the right term xenophobia is that the right term anyways not, let's not get technical here but if i am kind of like a, a victim which i was i have been you know especially in in my college year <laughs> okay but if um somebody tries to defend me i don't know what what is more offensive um the fact that people think that i can't you know speak for myself or the fact that people think that you know um being from another country is makes you kind of like lesser than you know other people i don't know anyways it, it, it it's just one of those things you have to stand up for those who cannot stand up for themselves but those who can you know let them be let them do their job let them stand up for themselves you know remember we need to listen to them and that's what he said, like, thank you for listening. So, you know, they have a voice. Brilliant. I mean, funny, fearless. Your dog is beautiful. It was just a great, <laughs> great, love that dog. great audition. This, I think, is going to change your life. Nice. From the moment you started, you were funny, making fun of yourself, your energy. You're having such a good time up there. I hope that you are the one comedian that finally wins AGT. There was a winner. Oh, that was Britain's Got Talent. Yeah, last year a comedian won Britain's Got Talent. This year a comedian won Britain's Got Talent. Where is uh, America's Got Talent comedian winner? But it's one of those comedies that, bro, it is something that, um, <laughs> oh, you know, it's confusing. You know, if you laugh, you're going to hell. If you don't laugh, you're going to hell. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you're not going to laugh at his joke. You're saying he's not funny. Okay. And then you laugh and you're like, oh, you, so you're laughing at disabled people now? <laughs> it's oh man it's confusing and i think he he loves the the fact that he makes people uncomfortable uh, when i was growing up i used to like that type of comedy where I, I made people uncomfortable and and i used to get a laugh out of that because you know confusing people and seeing their confusion is funny to some extent you know um that's why prank videos are very famous 
but the fact that um you kind of like mess with people is it, it, i used to find that funny now i mean of course i have my limits but it's i don't know i haven't been um a lot i haven't been do doing comedy as much as i used to when i was you know was growing up and my sense of humor changed i don't know how you found your way i think you're very clever you're cheeky and you really were really funny i mean we were all laughing it was fantastic i cannot believe you've only been doing this for one year because you seem to have a grasp of timing and humor you open up the conversation and normalize humanity and originality and you're funny I think, sir, you're not going to be doing engineering much longer. I think you're going to be full-time performing. Awesome. That's my prediction. So I'm going to start off the voting with a yes. And you're getting a big fat yes from me. Sophia. Yes. Uh, that makes it four yeses. There we go. And it's very nice to see him smile like that, man. You can see how happy you he was. Things I've ever seen in my life. Ow, loved it. <laughs> he didn't have to. Did he call him a thing? Funniest things I've ever seen in my life. Ow. I'm joking, guys. Be careful now. Ow, loved it. <laughs> he didn't have to choke anybody. I saw that. It was good. I held him back. Disability or no disability, he was good, really right? Good. He was like just good. Okay, man, that was actually funny. You know, um, this man has a, a talent for comedy, and I don't think anybody should feel sorry for him. You know, and I think if the idea is first laugh, then let's laugh. Um, you know, you are kind of uncomfortable at the moment watching it. You're like, oh, I can't believe he said that. But then again, that's the whole idea of stand up comedy it's um, audacious, it's. Um, bold you know it is something that gives you that whole um it, it, like he, he when you when you make fun of something that is um tragic it kind of is it becomes little it kind of becomes th uh, therapeutical and the fact that he managed to do that is you know it, it, I, I like how he was looking for people's reactions um, and hey, what did you think? Let me know your thoughts. I'm really genuinely curious on how you think. Um, and I hope I didn't offend anyone because, you know, it's very easy to offend people nowadays, especially when they want to speak for you. Shots were fired. Okay, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Take care for now. Bye-bye. Now you can get full access to exclusive content, special reactions to shows, series, anime, full movies, and even request a video of your choice. Just become a YouTube member or join Buy Me A Coffee today. Find out more. The link is in the description. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right.